room or what will become my daughter's room and I am very excited to make this bedroom very special for her um, she's eight years old now and she has a lot of opinions but we have agreed on some things and it is the first time we make her a proper bedroom that would be hers and it's just something very special and something that I've been looking forward to quite a lot and um, Right now, my, my two kids are sharing a bedroom and they will probably continue sleeping together for a bit longer because it works really well for us. And I think they find a lot of comfort sleeping in the same room, but I really wanted her to have her own room. So, so what will happen is the room they're sharing now will eventually become my boy's room and this will be her room. Uh, so right now it's just a big empty room. I painted the walls uh, white with the chalk paint. The chalk paint is quite funny to work with because it looks almost grey or beige when it's wet, uh, but it dries up white, like a crisp white. Um, so it makes it a bit easier when you're painting a white wall, that this way you can see what you're doing. And it's also fun to see it transform afterwards. This recording is from back in June when I was uh, working in the evenings and the days were still really long. I uh, have been working on my daughter's room on and off because it was not high on the priority list as the kids were sharing a room and already had a room, but I really wanted to, to get it done. And then I have a special plan for the wall behind me. It's not looking very nice because I didn't paint it properly. So this was the color, the yellowish color was the color the room had when we started and I there was a door here that had already been blinded uh, when we got the house. So I just gave it a little white paint because I want to put a wallpaper on this wall, a very special wallpaper that I first saw I think on Pinterest and I just fell in love and I just wanted to make something really special in this room. I remember as a kid I had a Tom and Jerry wallpaper that I really loved looking at so I want her to have a special wallpaper she can look, look at before falling asleep and dream up little stories and so on. Um, so to put up wallpaper we had to make the wall uniform so I gave it a quick layer of white paint on the wall and where the door was. Um, yeah so I'm a little bit nervous about putting up the wallpaper uh, I really want to share the process, but I never put up wallpaper before. I have it here. So the wallpaper is from a Dutch company called Pimpelmees. I actually don't know how you pronounce it. Maybe I should have asked because my family is Dutch. So um, at least on my mom, mom's side and she speaks Dutch. She could have explained me, but I think that's maybe how you call it. And this is one big, um, like one big painting. And so we will do all this wall in a one big picture. Uh, this wallpaper comes in many different colors. Um, so the color I chose is it's just like one color, but it has many different options. And this one is the color that's called mustard. Uh, I was also looking at this one. I can't remember. I think this is brown and they also have it in, I think, a gray, like a pencil gray and some other colors. Um, this one is a, a dinosaur's one that I considered for my boys' room, but instead we ended up painting it green. Um, but I'm going for this one for my girls' room. And so it will be the first time I put up wallpaper. It will be, it's very important that you put it up correctly since it's a big picture. So I'm really nervous and I just cleaned the floor and I'm gonna put it all out on the floor and hopefully I can figure it out. It came with instructions, so I have to read the instructions and see if it makes any sense uh, to me. I have glue, I have bought a whole package of um, supplies that I will need. Let's get started with the wallpaper. This is the wall before, so as you can see it is a slanted wall on one side and the rest of the room. It's a bit messy right now. Um, but this is the rest of the room before 
I get onto making it look nice. Here you can see me measuring out the wall to make sure I had enough space for all the panels. I placed a lot of little markings, but I didn't really use them because after I put up the first panel, I just followed that one. I still spent some time doing it and it made me feel a little more secure. Okay, so I'm ready to get started. I'm super nervous. I just had some lunch because I decided it's better to work on a full stomach than an empty stomach and get stressed and do all kinds of issues. I have measured out the wall and I've cut the pieces so they are in the right order. I have all my supplies ready. Um, so my only, the only thing I'm very nervous about is getting the first piece perpendicular. So it's really important since the walls can be crooked or the floor can be crooked. It's an old house. But I am so nervous, but here goes nothing. I guess if I don't try, it's never gonna get up. I had it for a long time, just waiting. And I don't want it to end up being something that never happens. So, crossing my fingers and let's get started. the most stressful thing I have done in a while oh my god because <laughs> it kept being a little crooked and you kind of just push it around so I finally decided to pull it all off again and now I think it's okay um, it's said to wait before cutting off the corners but I'm really I really want to do it because I'm nervous that there's some glue sticking um, on the other side of the wall. Oh, I am so indecisive what to do, but I'm happy because if this one is completely straight, then all the rest should be okay. Of course, it might shift a little bit, but I just, this was the important piece. And because you cannot rely on walls and floor and stuff, it was very nerve wracking, but I think I managed so. <sighs> to breathe now. That was stressful. So stressful. because wow I don't know I think you, you can see it that the wallpaper came down rolling down into my head a few times because I didn't cut the pieces shorter and I just followed the instructions they said not to cut anything off so but it's just too heavy and it kind of pulls the paper down into my face so that's fun um, but I could it would be easier if you're two people but I knowing myself it's easy if I blame myself, <laughs> let's just say that. But it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. What I hate about these type of projects is that uh, in the beginning, I hope I'm not too shiny, in the beginning you are totally confused and then at the end you feel like that's when you should start doing it all over because finally you have an idea of what you're doing. But um, that's not how it works. <laughs> So I'm feeling more and more confident. I think I can talk a little bit through it and show you how I'm applying things and going about it. Okay, so I ran out of glue. I'm just gonna add some more of the glue. I'm using this one. Um, it had to be for non-woven uh, wallpaper. So I found this one at my local shop and have been, seems okay, it's very gooey. 
this is quite funny it's like let me see if i can show you it's just very gooey blood coming out <laughs> it's so fun i don't know i never worked with anything like this it's so weird it looks like pudding some kind of pudding um so i definitely think i put a little too little on the first one but I hope it's still going to be enough to keep it up. paper comes with a number and it makes it a little more easy to figure out and now I'm getting a little nervous again to try to figure out how to place this on the slanted wall but maybe it won't be an issue it's not that easy to do when you're a small person but so far so good and I need my trusty scraper but not much so I have to kind of line it up very precisely and then I can if there's a tiny crack I can push it in but if it's too wide I find that it's not um, so easy okay I think I got it I think I got it now my issue with the other ones was once I went down all this came into my face <laughs> so I have to probably cut it, cut it off straight away. Now this is the part where it would be nice to have someone here to help me. Okay, I think that's enough to keep it up. Whew. This is the stressful part every time that I feel it gets me a little sweaty. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna remove some of the excess glue. trying to push this one in a bit from the outside because I don't want to put the wallpaper down. I just wanted to show you my sweaty face and everything, but it's done. It is all this way. I'm shaking my arms a little tired, but look at it. It's so pretty. And then for the 
other plans for the room is I painted some old furniture. Um, I got some uh, old strip furniture. It's really was really popular here. I think in the 90s maybe to strip the paint from old furniture. So it's really easy to find um, old furniture that is just in the raw wood and. Sometimes, it, if they're not in the best conditions, I, I hate painting wood, but they were actually originally painted and sometimes they're not in the best condition. So I found this really not, not very nice looking um, closet for my daughter that I thought would look really nice with some paint and I painted it. And it had some wormholes as well that I sent, that I filled up and tried to make it look better. It had some stains and discoloration. So it was pretty cheap, but I think I managed to make it look really nice. Um, I also found a little bedside table for her that I painted in the same color. I used paint from Fusion Mineral Paint. It's really easy to work with and uh, I enjoyed doing that. Since I had some paint left after painting the wardrobe and the little bedside table, I decided to use the leftover on some IKEA frames that I got. I gave them two layers of paint. I didn't sand them first, which I would recommend if you want to have them lasting longer, but they're just gonna stay on the wall and not get touched very much. So I think it was fine. And I also didn't uh, remove the glass in the frame because it had a plastic coating, like a plastic film that you peel off. Creating a gallery wall can be very daunting and I always feel a little nervous getting started but I found that it was actually very helpful to film myself holding up the frames and then look at how it looked in camera. So that's a tip I can give you. I know there are different ways you can make it but I wanted to keep it very calm and simple because she will, will eventually fill up her room, my daughter with all her toys that are very colorful and that's okay with me. I got some different art for her. The big print is from Ikea and that is um, print a replica from an old book. The two smaller ones are fairies and I had a book with these fairy illustrations when I was a child and I loved them very much. I got a little flower, dried flower wreath that I bought at a Christmas market from a local lady who makes them. Next up I started assembling her bed. It's a bed that you can use from very young child up until adult pretty much and uh, I am keeping it at the middle setting right now that fits her very well and that one is also from Ikea. Mostly the furniture in the room are secondhand stuff. I got very cheap or for free and then I painted them or gave them new life 
But we also had some pieces from Ikea. And I think I really like the mix of bringing something new in with something old. Um, and also using what you already have instead of going and buying new stuff all the time. Even if it's not maybe necessarily what you would get if you were getting it now. The birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes. Hold on to your dream Oh, I know you wanna scream Since the day you're born You're just a flower on your own Waiting for the sun to blossom Day. 